Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda. I'm Mr. Sepulveda, and on today's episode, we're going to be looking at some of my subscriber suggestions for me to draw, and we'll even try to rate them out of 10. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at our first image. Our first image is the Chuck E. Cheese mascot. I, I had a lot of fun kind of drawing them out, but as you can tell, I only used flat colors and I didn't use any shading whatsoever. So I'm going to say I'll give this one a 4 out of 10. The next request comes from one of my former students, Ava, who's currently in 8th grade. And she asked me to draw her horse, and I really did attempt to draw this with a digital painting style, and I think it came out all right. Uh, the background could have been better, but I'll give this one maybe a 5 out of 10. Our next request is to draw Kratos, um, and I'm a big God of War fan, so I actually had a lot of fun with this one. This one, you could tell that I ended up putting in some shading, and I only airbrushed a little bit of highlights, but I really could have done a little bit more with it. Overall, I think it's maybe a 5 out of 10. Bob Velzeb was my next uh, art suggestion. I had fun with this one. Kind of demonish -y, cartoony, put a little blood on the blade. Thought it was a fun one. Um, still kind of flattish, so I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Denji from Chainsaw Man was my next suggestion, and I had fun drawing him. I realize he's a little bit more complicated uh, when it comes to a lot of the uh, chainsaw anatomy. I just kind of shorthanded a lot of it. And looking at it, I think it's more of a 5 out of 10. The next request came from my students, Macy and Reagan. They wanted me to draw them. Um, and I'm really bad at drawing people, I think, uh, when it comes to people that are real. And I'm looking at reference photos. I don't know what it is. I think it's just hard to catch the likeness. But I think for this, I think I'm pretty proud of it. I was really happy with the way it turned out. I would give it a... 6 out of 10. Papyrus from Undertale was my next suggestion, and I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun uh, designing him. I think he looks pretty cool. I really wish that I made a full body version of him, but other than that, I think I would give this a 6 out of 10. Tom from Ed's World was my next suggestion, and I had fun redesigning Tord. Um, if you've seen that in the other episode, uh, and I had fun redesigning him. I kind of want to do a whole group thing in this style, but I'd have to give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, this one's our final one. This is Sundrop, and it's actually my favorite piece that I've did in this episode, and I'll tell you why. I gave him a nice little cool glow effect. I gave him some rough texture. There's some shading. There's some light. Uh, overall, I was really happy with this piece, and I'd have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know I did. Please let me know if you think that the way that I ranked my own artwork was fair, or if you would change any of the rankings that I gave my own art pieces. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and I can't wait to get there. Thank you all for supporting me on my art journey. Uh, I'll see you all next Tuesday for a regularly scheduled video. You all have a good one.